little bit. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest lotto. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. All right. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us tap in and find out why we spiritually live here. All right. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Until he met you, 
all right, until he met you and everything changed for this man, his taste in women and his mindset about women. Because at some point this man, it's like they had to learn a lot, right? Because at some point they thought that a woman going crazy over him was like, oh, that's the way to go. That means like they're really into me. When in all actuality, a woman going crazy is like, nah, like that's a red flag. You know what I'm saying? It's emotional instability. It's just, it's really low vibrational. And this is a man that they learned that through dealing with you. Because they dealt with a very karmic feminine energy that made him feel like he should have never even engaged with this woman. Like, this man... He's in the energy of, he regrets giving any ounce of energy to this woman, even getting it to the point of her claiming pregnancy, because this man really thought, and might still even think that this woman was pregnant because of what she claimed or how it happened, or, yeah, you see, like, this, this, the, this, the documents, like, things like that, but everything that this woman was doing was, like, falsified here. The documents were falsified. It was a fraudulent piece of paper, all right? It's like getting it from another person and then claiming that it's theirs or something like that where this woman lied to a man claiming that she was pregnant but she was never pregnant here. And it's, I feel like it's not... This man never wanted a child with this woman. This man, like, he was in his prime of, of, of like, this era where he was also dibbling and dabbling in vibrational things, but he was also a divine masculine at the same time. Like, he knew he was dibbling and dabbling in low vibrational things, and he knew how to tap out of, out of the low vibrational things and how to engage with them while still keeping everything and everyone at arm's length, right? Like, this is a man that had, has a sharp mind, and they're very smart, and you know, they know how to move and they understand life on a higher consciousness level. Clarify the moon reverse. We have the page of wands. So this man, they see how something affected you here, either with this comic feminine, you know, or this whole saga. Like, this man, till this day, they have, like, this lingering bitterness towards this comic feminine for putting you through all of this, right? Like, this man understands that they might have deserved the behavior, the behavioral issues that they dealt with with this woman because they openly chose to deal with this woman. But they don't appreciate the fact that this, I feel like this woman broke certain boundaries by wanting to temper with your energy somehow with regards to all of this. This has, this might have, like, this literally has nothing to do with just the pregnancy. It's like, this woman wanted to somehow gain access to your energy and be immature and, like, do all, low, all types of low vibrational things. That's what this man is pressed about here. Like, this man will forever feel pressed about that. Like, I can't believe I, I let that, I let that happen. Like, I feel like this is a reserved man. They don't really like talking about a lot of things that are negative. Like, they don't like talking about negativity at all. I feel like this is a man that chooses to embrace good and they see no evil. But, however way things took course, it enabled something in this man to change. Maybe this man was very open with the energy because they felt like, man, I'm just being myself and it's like, whatever. But this comic feminine energy taught this man that not all that glitters is gold. This man feels like this is a disgusting woman that they should have never engaged with and they're embarrassed. Like, this man is embarrassed and ashamed that he dealt with this feminine energy. He's embarrassed and ashamed because a part of him still wonders if it was ever true that this woman was pregnant. And he's ashamed because he wonders, like, damn, imagine if it happened like that and this like, I heard the B word, right? This bitch was pregnant. Like, this man doesn't respect this woman. They, they just, they in the energy of like, damn, like, it's like, it's like they feel like they should have known better or they should have been better. It's like this man, I don't think they, they have it in them to, 
It's like this is a man that doesn't want to give this this comic woman power. They don't want to be like, okay, baby, let's like talk about it and like because they're so upset with the way this woman already handled this whole thing. It's like it just makes everything worse. They would rather prefer to just move on and let time heal you while they act right while they at it. Clear father hand, man. So this man, like they very guarded, we have a father of wands. They very guarded because their their whole it's like apart from them dealing with you before they met you or excuse me encountered you or dated you before your journey with him began this man was not emotionally mentally even physically spiritually especially spiritually developed all right like as much as he was a divine masculine he obviously didn't have certain things under control like he felt he feels as though this woman took advantage of that the fact that he was very vulnerable at some point or he was very open with his energy at some point he hates this woman like this man they don't hate nothing but when it comes to this woman they have this bitter lingering energy that it's like they despise this woman for what they did here it's like this man doesn't even care about the whole pregnancy thing. All that, all that they care about is their life. They're like, man, I dodged the bullet. I'm grateful that none of that ever happened because I never planned on it. I never wanted it to happen. I was never seeking that with this person. I was just living my life and this, this situation arise from that. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the temperance here. So, like, this woman is in a very bitter, hateful, scorned, miserable energy because they feel like you changed this man. They feel like you're the reason this man is no longer void to their ways and tactics. Like, this was a woman who thought that this man would always, like, be in the energy of, like, considering, like, being in two minds about cutting ties with them. Like this man would openly tell this woman like, yo, I'm done with you. Like, I don't want you, like I'm good. And say certain things like, man, you even aborted my child, like I'm good. But they don't mean it in a way that like, it hurts them or something. It's like, they just want the, they just want this woman to get it through their thick skull. Like, man, I'm good or for you. Like, I don't want none of this. And this is a man that isn't like hateful, vindictive, or vengeful. So they didn't want to abruptly just cut ties with the woman, block her, move. like they wanted to clear the, the air, like, yo, I'm good. Like, don't ever think that you can come into a relationship that I'm gonna have with another person. Like, yo, that, that's, don't ever think that. Like this man openly spoke to this woman about that before you. And so when this woman decided to engage the way they engaged in these unruly behaviors, this rebellion against the Expected boundaries this man placed. Like, yo, I'm good. This woman still didn't listen. Which made this man really, it's like, this man was frightened about how delusional this woman is. Like, this man till this day is frightened about how delirious and delusional this woman is. He can't believe what he allowed. We have the four of wands. It's like this woman's intention from the get-go was to enable this man to be trapped. Either an emotional entrapment, a psychological grip, or even this false pregnancy here. But everything was to sort of temper with this man's mind and make them scared to be with another person because they will fear like for that person's life because they know how quote unquote crazy this comic woman is. But this man didn't even think like that. Like 
They were just concerned that this woman was not getting a picture. Like, you still on this when I've been telling you the same thing over and over again. I don't want you. I'm over it. This man, like, I feel like you're their home. Like, it's more than just, it's more than just, like, a relationship when it comes to you or a connection or a, a, a bond or history when it comes to you. It's more like you taught this man a very great lesson about life. Like, this man didn't see things the way they actually were this whole time because of what they were allowing. You know, they, they, they resent that about themselves. Like, they wish that certain things didn't get that far. You know, this is the type of man, like, they don't like to dwell on the mishaps, the turbulences, and the obstacles, but as a man, like, they carry a level of pride. And within that pride, they really, they, they would have rather had you before this woman or before these other women, like this man, we have the strength reversed and the emperor, yeah. So we have the Ten of Swords. This man, they're no longer the same, right? Whatever they used to allow, whatever used to tickle their fancy, like all of those things disgust them now. Like when they look at this woman, they feel disgusting. Like how dare I even allow this, this, like, like hell nah, like man, hell nah. Like this is what this man is on. So this, this enabled this man to value themselves more in terms of what they thought they would like. So this, this experience that this man had with this woman, this man sees how it affected you. They know that you're not the type of person to be on the those insecure vibes, they don't even view it as an insecurity. They most so they know that you you don't handle disrespect well. And this man, they 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 are ashamed of dealing with this woman, and they are ashamed of this woman. Period. They don't respect this woman. They view them as a B I T C H who deserves to be in a mental institution or asylum. But this man doesn't even care about that. What they care about is how it affected you, this whole ordeal, this whole circumstance, this whole situation, this man feels like it might have weighed you down in terms of your heart or your spirit or your mind. And like for a long time, this man didn't know how they were gonna get you out of that. Like they really felt like, damn, I really hope this doesn't get to a point where it festers within my woman and they start to bring it up in an argument or they start to make, they start to, like I'm feeling emotional here y'all. Like they didn't want it to get to that point where it made you cry. Not this woman but how it made you feel, this whole thing. Like this is a man, even hearing this, if like if like you talking about this woman like make, make, makes this man feel disgusting. Like they wish that it just never happened. Like I wish I would have never, you know. And like the pregnancy thing, like this woman saying, yeah, I'm, I was, I'm, I terminated, I had an abortion, I took a plan B. They thought that it would put this man in shambles and shatter them. But what it did is it propelled this man in a different direction where they really saw that this is not where I want to be and this is not what I want for myself. This is too low vibration and unhealthy and, and, and I don't want to deal with this. And that's the thing, this man already knew 
They already knew that this woman was not right and they were low vibrational. But this woman had manipulated this, they way into this man's life by portraying a certain character and role to fit the description of what this man supposedly wanted them to be. But in all actuality and truth, this was a sicko and is a sicko. Someone, this woman is sick. Like they look at your life with this man in so much envy. They look at your life with this man in rage. Like they, they look at it in a way that they felt like, oh, I have to do one, two, three, one, two, three to even get you to look at me a certain type of way. But when it comes to her, you all in. What the hell do you call that? This is this woman's energy. But what they don't understand is you are not low vibrational. You're not out here being comic. You're not out here wanting to emasculate a man just so they love you or feel sorry for you. You're not out here making yourself a damsel in distress like you need saving. You stand in your power and you expect the same thing. You know what I'm saying? This woman hates you for that. Or there's someone that's willing to give it all to him. When in all actuality, 
That is false and that is manipulation. That is fantasy and that is illusion. So now this man is in the energy of understanding life better and he's understanding it through his personal experiences. He, he doesn't even view women the same way. He doesn't view sex the same way. He values himself in such a way that even if anything were to happen to you, God forbid something happens between the both of you. Just an analogy or reference point, a case study. Like, this man will, will never be with another woman. Like, because of, I don't think it's because just they frighten, because of how sick and delusional women can be, especially these comic type of women. Like, it's more like he values himself to that extent where he will never allow someone to have him like that. He feels like you are his lost, lost, like, it's like, if this, like, I'm good, like, this is, this is it for me. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, everything else doesn't matter to this man. He hates this woman. He despises this woman. He doesn't respect this woman. He looks down on this woman. He views this woman as weak and delusional. And he wishes he never, ever, ever even, even just, man, sexually, like, he's just like, man, I just want to, like, just, let's just move on, and I, I'll never, like, I'll never, ever, ever, ever be on that, man. Mm. Yeah, this was your message from God. You know, the big G-O-D, the biggest lotto. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Thank you for your time. Once again, thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. A prayer day keeps the devil away. Stay prayed up in these dangerous times of envy and jealousy. And stay awake, stay away from being comic. Alright? Pick the high vibrational road. No matter what, and definitely for not no man. You know? Okay. See you next time, y'all. Goodbye.